My Dead Dad's Porno Tapes, or MDDPT, is a 2018 film written and directed by Uncaster-born Charlie Tyrell and co-written by Joseph Beebe. The film follows Tyrell as he attempts to gain a better understanding about his late father Greg through the random collection of his belongings that he inherited along with his VHS pornography tapes. Throughout this presentation, the content and style of the documentary will be analysed to determine the modes present. It will be argued that MDDPT is a performative documentary with elements of, a, of poetic techniques throughout as a result of Tyrell's filmmaking style and the way the content is presented. While MDDPT has a very provocative title, the pornography tapes are only used as a lighter way into the content, that is, a personal story about a family member's death. Tyrell has said that highlighting the tapes was never meant to be shameful, but rather to showcase his family's odd sense of humour. This use of humour to communicate a more emotional and personal recount of an issue is a common performative technique according to Little. Despite a suggestive title, the overall subject is actually Greg's belongings as a representation of who he was, with the tapes being used as a segue into the underlying message of intergenerational abuse. Throughout MDDPT, the narrative of Tyrell's relationship with his father is explored. Additionally, Tyrell begins to question and uncover why in fact the relationship was like this, and more so why his dad was the way he was. Throughout the film, Tyrell brings the issue of intergenerational abuse into conversation, using raw, and, uh, using raw emotion and experiences to give the audience an insight into what it feels like firsthand, a common performative convention according to Nichols. The younger Tyrell recognised that he did not enjoy the frequent trips to airstrips across southern Ontario with Greg. However, Tyrell reflects that this wasn't Greg failing, this was Greg trying. He just kind of sucked at it, quoted Tyrell. Tyrell discovered that Greg's aloof aloofness dates back to his own childhood and is a result of his harsh mother-son relationship with Tyrell's grandmother, who also had an abusive childhood. Tyrell realises that despite his relationship with his father, his parents did make a decision to ensure that the intergenerational abuse stopped at Greg's childhood. This film explores the issue of intergenerational abuse that has been unspoken of until this generation. MDDPT makes his personal experience universal, with Tyrell even mentioning in interviews that strangers reach out to him, highlighting their own similarities with his experience. Thus, this messaging and attempt to give an opinion and bring a topical issue to light supports the, doc the performative documentary mode. Because performative documentaries generally showcase what it's like to be there, without these documentaries the audience would miss out on experiencing these personal situations. Moreover, performative documentaries generally emphasise the filmmaker's involvement with the subject, which in this case the documentary is entirely about the filmmaker's relationship with the subject. Another important performative identifier is that Tyrell mentioned in interviews that funding for this film was rejected multiple times, which is a common issue for these documentary types as they generally do not focus on evidence or an order of events. More specifically, some of the techniques that Tyrell used include stop motion animation, home video footage and phone interviews to create his father's portrait. As supported by Little and Beisterfeld, a performative documentary filmmaker uses a variety of techniques, all of which Tyrell used. Having an experimental animation commonly occurs in performative documentaries. This is evidenced in MDDPT as the stop motion animation was created using very unique ob objects, only Greg's possessions. Furthermore, there is an open narrative voice that takes us through Tyrell's documentary. This is a common performative technique to ensure the viewer is situated in a less resistive attitude, therefore increasing the chance of it being a story that people are open to and can relate to. Whilst all documentary modes have their own distinct elements, this does not mean that documentaries are exclusively made in one mode. In fact, Beisfeld and Nichols state that most documentaries can find multiple modes to create the overall style. Particularly for performative documentaries, Little says that it is common for these filmmakers to incorporate other techniques. Further, this film's narrative is visually expressed. Even the interviews were only audio files. Thus, Tyrell was required to create the visual elements in post-production. And according to Beisfeld, this is very common in the poetic mode. Throughout this film, Tyrell encourages himself and the audience to see Greg in a different light, and this encouragement of an idea is a common poetic technique according to Leach and Grant. Further, Tyrell was less concerned with proving anything, and more so focused on reframing what he remembered about his dad and how that affected his opinion of him. Thus, as Nichols states, this lack of concern with proving anything further supports the hint of poetic techniques coming through. From observing other works from Tyrell, it is apparent that the most present in this film encompass techniques that are incredibly prevalent throughout the rest of Tyrell's work. The most frequent technique that Tyrell continues to use, even in commercials for Star Wars wallets, is stop motion animation. Thus, it seems apparent that Tyrell did not specifically choose this mode for his documentary, but rather the style of his filmmaking in turn influenced the style and modes for this documentary. 
It is clear throughout this film that the clever use of performative and perfect poetic techniques integrated with his personal filmmaking style have helped Tyrell advance his narrative and ensure that the content of his film was both heard and related to by his audience.